Hey guys, it's Jen Taylor with the Christie Reese Group. We're gonna do a really special tour of this amazing property, 260 Teller, the bungalow redefined with its proprietors, Jen and Brian Sanford of Five Design. We're gonna do a little interview with them. They're gonna give us a tour, but first we're, all, we're actually gonna make a little cocktail out of uh, locally distilled gin uh, from Peach Street Distillers. Let's go take a look. Hey, hi you guys. Cheers. Cheers. Yay. Yay. Welcome, welcome. So 12 restorations in downtown Grand Junction. You guys have made the landscape downtown what it is. It's like, <laughs> you, you are the defining house on the block every time. You're the influencer. Yeah. You're the one that sets that block on fire. You know, we bought the worst house on the block again. And, <laughs> and made it again, the most so. amazing yeah. house on the block. Yeah. We're going to find out about that in a minute, but let's sit down for a second, can we? What are we drinking? Well, we're drinking uh, Davy's uh, gin from Peach Street Distillery. So tell us about your love affair with this house. Tell us about how you encountered the house and how long it took to resurrect it. Yeah, this one was one I wasn't even interested in. Um, kind of a surprise house. I had my sights on some other property. Uh, as soon as I walked in, nine and a half foot ceilings, fell in love. All new everything. Nothing gets overlooked. Everything is taken out and put back in. Yeah, straight to, to the stud. And you're kind of in society corner here. This is what a great southeast facing room. Yeah. There's literally Close not been a lonely night on this porch. No, so we have incredible yeah. neighbors, really active. Somebody's out here almost yeah. every night saying hello. And so we, it's. We're it's, out here all the time. So zen out here. It's really, it's just a really wonderful breeze room. Yeah. Breezeway. Yeah. Uh, so four bed, two bath, it was built in 1910 yep. and it's uh, 1605 square feet, I believe. So you've added some square footage, obviously, with the upstairs and then a little bit of square footage downstairs as well. Right. So let's, <laughs> well, let's go. let's go in. Yeah. Oh, look at this. So this is amazing. What a great receiving room in here. A lot of the downtown homes have that one kind of room concept or the hallway concept which we really like. And this is really a separate space, which we've really enjoyed. Got a yeah. bedroom one, yeah, right? Got that's awesome. And that's a more or less a rollover bedroom, right? Yep. This is incredible. This is insane. Will you tell us about, tell us about this chef's kitchen? This is gorgeous. Yeah. So obviously dining room, uh, we moved into kitchen. We started with, you know, I do stainless steel countertops in every single house that I do. Uh, they're bulletproof, they look great with every style I've ever done in a kitchen, and uh, they're made here locally, which is always cool. Um, we, I always try to leave off um, upper cabinets. I love the open concept, um, makes it feel bigger, and it flows all the way to the back of the house. So the shelving came from a cabin that I reclaimed or tore down that was gonna be burnt down in Loma. It was built for uh, Native Americans would come down from the hills and pick beets. And so the farmer built them a cabin that was on skids and he would just pull it day to day as they went. And uh, it was in really in great shape. 1910, I think, was the last time it was used. Hmm. And Same uh, this house was built. Yeah. How appropriate. Yeah, Very right? Interesting. And uh, I never thought about that. But yeah, so a lot of the wood that's used in the house for these little shelves and things like that came from uh, Cabin in Loma. And all the lighting, it comes from all over the country. Uh, that came out of a Sinclair in northern Iowa. Um, the lights overhead down the center came out of a chicken hatchery uh, in Minneapolis, Minnesota. And I think they were actually manufactured in Minneapolis, Minnesota as well. Bright red door here, I've saved for 15 years for just the right house, carried this over and over and over again and never found the right house for it. And uh, this has just become a little barn slider for a pantry under the stairs. Awesome, you guys just nailed it. And the tile backsplash it's gorgeous. You just don't. You just don't see that. I know it was painstaking to put that up, right? Yeah, this will be the last That's, house. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be the last house. But it makes such a cool statement. It looks it so neat. Unique to this home. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Let's keep going. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, take us through. Let's go see the master. Pretty simple master bedroom. Um, not much to say in here. Again, uh, original trim, and we did a full bathroom restoration. It used to be a Jack and Jill bathroom and we've taken that out. So to the right, we did a waterfall tile, so it gives you the appearance of the room being a little bit bigger, and so the floor tile walks up the wall. So while you guys were in the bedroom, I've been just Googling over this. This is amazing. Your espresso, kombucha, sparkling water station, yes. kegerator. Uh -huh. Tell us about this. This is awesome. Right in your kitchen. And 
With the sale of the home, with the purchase of the home, it, the kegerator is included, right? Yes. With the tap, yes. just not the tap handle. Not Correct. the tap handle. Yes. Yeah. 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 Yes. Yes. Hand carved. Maybe for price. Yeah. <laughs> I'm shameless. <laughs> yep. Okay, come on in. I'll show you the main bath. So the main bath was kind of a fun project. It actually used to be part of the master bedroom closet. It bled all the way into here. And so really not useful space. So uh, we brought in a shower and toilet and stackable wash and dryer. So we're upstairs. So you've got two bedrooms upstairs, each with their own magical space, right? Yeah, yeah. Each of the kids have a room up here. So this is our daughter's room. But she's got a secret space if you want to follow me. It's underneath the bed. It's her own little special place with her dolls. And she reads books in here. So that's one secret space up here. And this second bedroom, again, it's got its own secret space. Pull this open. He's got his own gaming room. Well, whimsy, the kids, you guys have really, and, and perfect for adults as well, not just yeah. for kids, right? Yeah, yeah, for adults. Well, let's head back downstairs. Much like the rest of the house, we've tried to utilize every single space. So, rebuilt the stairs and made them as useful as possible. And now it's a craft become the homework station because we homeschool. So, everything the kids do for school is done down here. And in here is the utility room. And we got a freezer, uh, hot water heater, furnace, which has all been reducted and ran. And then, of course, all the extra things that you would need to store in the basement. Guys, let's go see the outside. Oh, so excited. Please. Yes, this was just all dirt. Yeah. Mounds of dirt. So yep. we had to scrape it. Huh. All right, you've got your outdoor kitchen set up here. Yep. You've got your garden beds. Look at your garden coming in too. Fire pit, obviously. Fire pit, yep. And you've got the built-in bench, and then you've got the garage, of course. Yeah, so it's a 24 adorable. by 18 foot garage. And if you wanted to convert that to something like an ADU or just a studio even, like an art studio, yeah. homeschool yeah. area, yep. you could. Yeah. Yes. Every house we've done that's had a garage, we've done that with. And you've got a gate on the side that goes yep. out to the, to the street, right? Yep. Yep. And then you've got a double gate in the back. Yes. Right. Alley access. Yes. Alley access, yeah. Uh -huh. Small RV will fit through. Oh, and you've got all this. So you've got um, street access here. Yep. Yes. And then uh, you've got all this street parking along the side. Yep. Not that we have a security problem around here, but I love the idea that people are away from the fence. So I did the heavy rock next to it. And it just gives you that little bit of distance from everybody as they're coming down the sidewalk. So little extra privacy. And as you can see, lots of mature trees, lots of mature bushes and shrubs. Just made to be a really great living and functional, no maintenance living space. Well, it's a magical space and you, you feel it from the minute you pull up and, and as you approach the home and just everything you've done just makes it exactly that. It makes it a home. Yeah, we so. love it. Cheers, friend. Cheers. Thanks for coming through. Cheers. Yeah. yeah, thanks for having us, you guys.